Flying as high as ninth in early December, Amiens have slipped down to 15th after picking up just four points in their last eight games. The Ligue 1 Conferama first-timers were therefore in desperate need of a win against Saint-Étienne, who've been boosted by a busy January transfer window. With the arrival of six players, all former internationals, they've looked well-placed to pull clear of the relegation battle. This is an interesting test for Jean-Louis Gasset's new-look lineup, considering they haven't won away from home since mid-September. Well, Robert Beric really should have given them the lead here on 19 minutes after a lovely ball forward from Nevan Subotic. The Slovenian, who recently returned on loan from Anderlecht, brilliantly denied by Regis Gertner. But well, it was a first half of relatively few chances. Amiens struggling somewhat in the absence of their injured duo Serge Gakpe and Bongani Zungu. No shots on target for them in the first half. With Saint-Étienne continuing to look the more dangerous of the two sides. Jonathan Bamba combining here with another new face, Mathieu Debouchy. The French international trying to play in Remy Capella there. But held by goalkeeper Regis Gertner. Well, it was Debouchy who gave Saint-Étienne the lead on 62 minutes, slamming home here from close range. After Bamba's original effort was parried. Debouchy getting his first league and Conferama goal in almost six years. A perfect start to life with Hiver for a player who still has slim hopes of going to the World Cup with France. Well, Roman Hamuma came on for Beric midway through the second half. And he really should have scored within a minute of coming on. Being put through there by Cabela. A fine stop from Gertner. Cabela revolved again here, setting up Bamba this time. But if there's top scorer in Liga, let that one go begging. In the end, Cabela decided the simplest thing was to score the second goal himself. Being teed up here by Vincent Pajot for a simple goal on 85 minutes. The on loan Marseille man capping a fine performance. Unfortunately for Saint-Étienne, he won't be allowed to face his parent club next week due to a gentleman's agreement. Tabushi also involved in the build-up play there. With a little loop ball over for Pajot. Incredibly, this was the first time all season Saint-Étienne have managed to get two goals away from home in any competition. Amiens failing to get a shot on target for the second week running. A first away win for Le Ver then since beating Dijon on the 16th of September. They're now up to 12th. Four points clear of the relegation playoff place.